fields and the lightning tree. It's Lily's old tone from the day it was born, for the tree was born in a thunderstorm. Grow, grow the lightning tree, it's never too late for you and me. Grow, grow the lightning tree, never give it too easy. to you. already, is he? It's too early. Early? Huh. Hello. After a bit of magic, are we? <laughs> and what do we need doing today? Turning horses into pumpkins, Steve into an handsome prince. You into an early riser? Oh, we're sharp this morning, aren't we? Eh? Very sharp. Well, what is on the agenda today? Work. And it could have been a beautiful morning. I don't know what you're looking so miserable about. The life you lead. Are you talking to me? <sighs> Just checking to see that you haven't been smuggling any more horses in while my back was turned. No. I should hope not. Enough is enough. Yes, Uncle. Oh, Ron! Shut the gate, will you? And a little more quietly than you opened it. Gosh, aren't you getting big? You'll soon be able to look into the next door, won't you? You're looking forward to that. Oh, who are you? I'm, I'm from the fair. What, the one at Berwick? Yes, it's my dad's. Eddie Shaw's travelling fair. I'm Tim Shaw. I've got a horse. You take them in, don't you? Well, sometimes. What kind of horses do you take? Just special ones. My horse is special. Yes, I'm sure he is. How's he special? He won the Grand National. What? He won the Grand National. When? I don't know, but I know he did. What's his name? Periwinkle. Whose is he? He's mine. Well, my dad's really, but I look after him. If I brought him, would you give him a home? I don't think I can. Because he's not special enough. <laughs> no. You won the Grand National, and you can't be more special than that. Why do you want us to have him? Dad doesn't want him. Look, how much do you think the horse is worth? I mean, if he won the Grand National... Oh, lots! Like what? A hundred pounds? A hundred? Well, nearly. You don't believe me. Yes, I do. Tim, give us a small spanner, will you? Dad? That'll do for now. He's new boat, really. Dad, we need some more oats. What? 
Oh, so I just bought some. But that was over two weeks ago, Dad. What do you do with them, lad? They're not flaming horse of yours. It's more... All right. I'll get some some more. But, Dad! Dad! Not any more out of you. I'll shoot the flaming horse. Sally, for dog me. Ain't no pettywinkle ever won the Grand National, I can tell you that. Maybe it was the Derby. Nor the Derby, neither. Slugs, you can't know every horse that ever won. I know them as lost. Had money on them. Yeah. Let me see now. 1923, Sergeant Murphy. 1924, Master Robert. 1925, oh. Double Chance. 1926. Oh, it's marvellous, isn't it? You can remember that far back. Do you think you can remember how long it takes to burn a bit of bacon? <laughs> What's that? It's a sausage. What? One of his losers. 1927, bird offering. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, blimey. What now? What is it? Leg in each corner? That's a horse, ain't it? Yeah, or a bed. Oh, Oi! You left your sausages. They've got more sense than I thought. I brought him. That is the horse that... He's beautiful. He doesn't... Uh... Well, he looks a bit... He's just tired, that's all. Dad wants to get rid of him because he doesn't do anything. He says everyone should earn their keep. If we trained Periwinkle, if he started winning races... Again? He could, couldn't he? Race? He could? Yes, of course he could. Then he would earn his keep and wouldn't have to be shot. Shot? Dad said to sell him for dog's meat. Oh, no! Dora? Come on, we'll give him a nice feed, shall we? Oh. That won the Grand National. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the others must have fallen over then. <laughs> Where's it from, anyway? Eddie's Fair. Eh? Hey, where? Eddie's? Yeah. Eddie's Travelling Fair, eh? Well, I'll be... <laughs> Eddie, you say? Yes. Sluggy used to box in his fur. Well, of course he did. That's right. My goodness. Eddie. Well, that must be his son. We'll have to send the horse back, you know. Uncle, we can't. Dora, we have to. It is his. But if he's going to shoot him... Would well, you think that's true? People do, don't they? Yes. Perhaps a tactful inquiry. Steve could ride over one evening. Hey, watch it. Mugger. Yeah? Colonel wants me to go across to Eddie's place. Will you come with me? Me? No fear. Why not? You used to work for him. Not him, he's dead. Never seen such a big fella in all my life. And temper. Oh. He wouldn't shoot the horse, would he? I don't know, but if he's anything like he's dead... Well, the Colonel wants me to check, see what he says. Oh, come on, slugs. Let's all go. Have a bit of a laugh. Your dad would have had them painted up something smashing. Stick that he was, lick of paint here, lick of paint there. That cost money. He brought in the customers though. Maybe. About that horse. Ah, uh, don't start that again. It cost me a fortune. Can you use him for something? Nah, it's all finished now. That's what they want. We'll see. They don't want to fight about an old horse. 
Yes, look at that. Do us a favor, will you? Uh, go take the money. Take the money? You cut the right bloke, mate. Cool money. Here. It's like meeting up with an old friend. Right, the time of reckoning has come. Dig deep in his pocket. He's in good shape for it, hard boxer. Used to be a tough old game. I can't afford to keep the horse down there broke as it is. Tim seems to think you're going to have it shot. I will blow him it up. You know what he thinks I am? Big deal showman. Tells all the kids at school. You know what my dad is, don't you? Big Eddie, the showman. I know. I'm living a pretense. Yeah. Don't you go telling him I'm broke. If you stop believing in me, you'd have nothing. saddle. You fall for every hard luck story in the book. Don't you? No. That thing couldn't win a donkey derby for heaven's sake. Shh, he'll hear you. He doesn't believe it himself. He's just... Dreaming? Yeah. Dreams are important, Steve. Don't spoil them. He doesn't want to run about. It's probably a bit strange for him. He will. Look, try this. It's a racing saddle. Or smashing. It'll all come back to him, won't it? He'll remember. Of course. Horses don't forget. Not special horses. Dora, you do think he's special, don't you? Of course. Five days. He's better than he was. Yes. Come on, Paywinkle. If that horse's future depends on winning a race, then... Do you think that kid doesn't know? You're just encouraging him, Dora. Anyone face simple facts? Do you have to? Oh, it's much easier not to, I know, but... Uh... And nicer. Much nicer. Yeah, great! You overtook a snail! <laughs> Fantastic! Roll up, folks, for the race of the century! On my left, Sammy, the crippled snail, on my right? Ron! Oh, come on, girl. What else is he gonna be? Ron, please! Look, I've backed some losers in my time, but that one... Ha! Here. Yeah. It'd be great in a funeral procession. Just about at right speed. Only... 
Well, the next funeral's gonna be his own, isn't it? <laughs> Ron, how could you? He hasn't been home all night. But he left yesterday. Yesterday? I thought it stayed here. Well, where could he be? He wouldn't stay out all night. But we've got to find him. Where could he have gone? I'll drive you around. I know the area. Dora, you do the places we can't get to, OK? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? The show. The show? Today's the best day. If I don't get today's money, I can't pay for next week's pitch. You have to pay in advance. He's slugger. Tim's gone missing. Can you look after this fair thing while we go looking for him? Yeah, nothing to it, is there? Great, man. Look, here's the key. Just get it open, eh? I'll be back as soon as I can, all right? Hey, go hey! What's going on? You're nothing early, ain't ya? Where are we going? To the fair, mate, to the fair. And I'll look out for the money. Right. Yeah. to move tonight. I've got a pitch book to Brentwood if I don't get there, right? Maybe he's back at the fair by now. Anyway, if he comes here, I'll send him over, OK? Right. Well, I'll uh, still be packing up by midnight. There's no way. Yes.
am I? No. I suppose you haven't eaten. I'll fix you something. Steve? Yeah? What can I do? Well, you can go back to your dad and take Periwinkle with you and trust him. He'll shoot him. I said trust him. But he will. He's going to sell him. He has to, Tim. Because he's no money. You know, dear. What else do you know? That Periwinkle didn't win the Grand National. That he isn't worth a hundred pounds. That he is old and can't win races. I thought you were a bit of an ostrich. You know, not facing up to things. No, it's... It's... What? It's Dora. Dora? She thinks Periwinkle's something special. She thinks all horses are special. Couldn't you tell her sometime? She's here now. You tell her. She'll be upset. anything to happen to him, would we? Dora? Uh, don't be upset. You know I said Periwinkle won the Grand National. I bet he romped home too. Left the others standing. And that he was worth a hundred pounds. It's more, is it? Well, he is beautiful. I have to go. I can't, Steve. She... I don't think she'd believe me if I told her. Come on, Tim. Your dad's waiting for you. Scott, you see Mr. Shaw? Hello, young man. Will he be glad to see you? He's... Dad! Dad! Oh, we're so worried. We've brought Periwinkle back. Haven't we, Tim? Don't worry. He'll have a good one. They want him a little, because he's so steady. Oh, it's a bit of a come down for a race, horse. Still. Dad, I know. You know what? That he isn't a race horse. Not a race horse? Of course he is. And he's won a few races this time as old Paddy Winkle. Don't let anybody tell you different. Not the, uh, not the Grand National. No, not the Grand National. He won me 100 pounds once, though. 100 pounds? Yeah, and another 100 when we sell him. You've done us proud. I'm your lucky. 